Hey, it's Jesse. Welcome to my daily blog. As many of you, of you know, I had a brother. I grew up with a brother and a sister, but my brother and I were two years apart, so we essentially grew up together. And when he was little, he was a handful. And so that resulted in a lot of discipline from my parents. I was very calm, I have to say, really, 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 I was very calm, but my brother was not. He was, he was a busybody. And um, I remember specifically episodes of him uh, being disciplined at times. And throughout his life, we will remind him of this episodes because he would cry out to my dad when he knew there was a whooping coming uh he knew that that he needed some discipline so he will cry out to my dad and say don't hit me talk to me with words and i will understand my lesson just for the record i was disciplined too when i was a kid of course but um my brother was the one that usually uh got more discipline and this is what i want to talk to you about um, discipline. Uh, Hebrews um, 12, 6 says that God disciplines those who love, does he love. And uh, we go, as, a, as Christians, we go through periods of discipline from God. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that discipline. It's not a whooping. <laughs> and um, it's not like we're children that need to be, you know, disciplined in, in a way uh, as, as a child does. But God disciplines in a very special way for us to learn a lesson. Discipline means to teach or to train. And basically what God is doing when he, when we receive that discipline is that he's, teach, he's teaching us, he's training us to be better. Um, I found two quotes that I really love. One is by Jerry Bridges and he says, The purpose of God's discipline is not to punish us, but to transform us. Billy Graham said, God does not discipline us to subdue us, but to uh, condition us for life of usefulness and blessedness. I, for one, I can tell you honestly that I am glad God takes the time to discipline me and to teach me because I want to be a better Christian. And the only way I can learn is by being disciplined. And, and as I said before, it's a training or it's, he's teaching me um, through this life experiences and i've said uh, this before um, god has good plans for us but sometimes those plans can be a little hard to go through but they are good and we have to trust that they are good because he wants us he wants the best for us and he wants the the he wants to bring that best out and honestly i don't know about you but i am glad god sees what i will become rather than what i am now and so for me to reach to that point, there has to be some sort of teaching and some sort of training. And that's where the discipline goes. And because he loves me so much, there is that discipline. And again, I'm not talking about, a, you know, a hit or, or, or a whooping or anything like that. But I am talking about the teaching of his word and I'm learning. And, and, and when I, I'm trying to take a decision and, um, and I'm trying to, you know, uh, conduct my life in a certain way, there comes God's teaching and he, he guides me and he teaches me and he trains me to do better. So the purpose of God's discipline is to transform us more and more into the likeness of Christ.